Okay, so this afternoon's video is going to be all about strengthening and rehabilitating the shoulder. I've mentioned in the previous shoulder video that a lot of the time we spend with our shoulders too far forward, and that means that our shoulders are all out of angle. If I stand sideways and I bring my shoulder forward, you can see it drops forward. That's by shortening my chest muscles. Now what happens is because my chest muscles are shortening, it drags my shoulder blade forward, which has the net effect of dragging my arm forward. Which means that when my arm comes up forward, my shoulder blade is already twisted around the sides of my body, and that means that I'm actually about 30 degrees out of position with my whole arm movement. So if I pull my shoulder blade back, lift my arm up, that's going to feel very, very weak to me because I'm not used to being there. So if I've got my shoulders forward and lift my arms up, but then I reposition my shoulder blades to where they should be, my arms are here. So what I do most of the time by working on computers with bad posture, by like computer games, or working out in the gym and doing this too much, is I'm actually developing power and strength 30 degrees off the straight ahead position. What that means is that we're using a whole wrong set of muscle groups doing the jobs that we'd normally be doing in everyday life. So what we're going to try and do today is give you a little bit of exercise you can do to rehabilitate the strength into the position where the shoulder is meant to be versus where we often have it in our current society. Okay, so this afternoon's exercise is all going to be about re-strength training this shoulder in its correct position. Now, for those of you eagle-eyed, you'll have noticed these big pile of orange sticks and been wondering what on earth they are. They're made by a company called Stick Mobility. Now, I'm one of their accredited trainers. I've been using these products for a number of years and I absolutely love them. Um, they, they've got about a one and a half, two kilo bit of weight to them and that's just enough to give a bit of resistance and a bit of strength training when you're trying to use them. They're flexible so you can, they do bend, the big ones bend even more obviously, but they're fantastic sticks. Now you can use this broom with a broom handle, again cut it to four foot, but you don't have the weight with a broom handle. I've got people who added weights to the end of the broom handle because they don't want to spend the 50, 60, 70 quid, whatever they are at the moment, um, on them and I totally get that but I do find that the stick themselves are the best option. I do use a stick, like a normal brew handle stick out the back here when I'm trying to demonstrate you can do a lot of things, but actually I love these things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and show you how to do this, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna step back so you can see a little bit more about what I'm doing my whole body. So what we're gonna start off with is we're gonna hold it right in the middle and I'm gonna let my knees just go out very slightly so my, my feet are parallel pointing straight ahead and I just let my weight go down. It's almost like I'm riding a horse, okay? Nice tall vertical posture. I'm not pushing my chest out or collapsing forward. I'm just nice and tall as I can be, but obviously with nice relaxed knees. Holding to right in the middle, I'm gonna bring it up in front of me here. So I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see like this. What I'm not doing is I'm not reaching forward with my shoulder and I'm not drawing back. What I'm trying to do is just keep the stick absolutely pinned right in front of me all the time. Now, for the vast majority of people I train in, this is the hardest thing they have to get used to because their stick just keeps coming forward. It just keeps coming, dragging forward like this, like this, like this. As they're trying to, as they're tiring, and trying to use the musculature that they're used to using instead of the ones that they should be using. So anyway, there's going to be six points, parts to this. Okay, I'll try and put them on the bottom of the screen as we go through them, and you'll be able to see what I'm calling each of them. So what we're going to do is loosen those knees. Okay, and we're going to come straight up with a stick. Now all we're going to do is we're going to do a rotation. Okay, it's going to be a propeller, but if, what we're going to do is we're going to leave the top part of our arm absolutely still. It's only the fore part of our arm that's going to move. So it's called a half propeller. And all I'm going to do is ten all the way. So that's one, two. I won't do ten because it will just get boring. Three, four. But you can see I'm letting it be nice and strong. I, I wasn't supporting my weight there. I was just making sure my arm wasn't being. But what I'm not doing is I'm not letting it bounce and bounce and going really fast. What I'm trying to do is be really controlled all the way through that motion. Okay, so that's a half propeller. Okay, you shouldn't take your arm down between each one. I'll try and maintain it for you so you can talk it. The next one is a full pedal, where you allow your upper arm to rotate as well a little bit. You can see you get a little bit more rotation. All the while I'm making sure I'm not popping my shoulder forward. Okay, so again, do 10 of these. Now that's a full propeller. Try not to let your arm drop or your elbow bend. Keep your arm absolutely straight out in front of you because that shoulder will pull back. Okay. Then we're going to come here, we're going to go to something called an axe. And all we're going to do is, is the stick's going to come forward. Now the temptation when you're coming back here is to bend your elbow. You're going to smack yourself in the head. Don't do it. Don't bend your elbow. Just allow it to be the wrist. So you're building up strength from the forearm and everything doing this. I'll do it from the side here. You can see what I've got. So there's no bend of the elbow at all. It's all happening at the wrist. And what I'm not doing is letting my fingers go, because that's just going to be cheating. What I'm trying to do is just keep hold of the stick nice and loosely. I'm not trying to choke the stick. And there. So again, you can see my shoulder isn't popping forward. 
So we're going to do 10 of those. Then we're going to do a hammerhead. It's like a hammerhead shark. Imagine it's got eyes on both ends. So we'll drop one end forward, the other end back. And again, it's not speed. It's all about everything we're doing here. It's all about slow and sustain. Now I can really feel the burn in my right shoulder just demonstrating this. Okay, so that's it. Okay, the last one we're going to do is we're going to do a cauldron. Arms going to stay exactly the same position, not popping forward, knees still nice and loose. And we're just going to do rotations. You can start off really, really little and get your 10 rotations get progressively bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, so it's one direction, and then we're going to do a cauldron in the other direction. Keep your arms straight, straight out in front of you, not allowing your shoulders to pop forward, not allowing your elbow to bend, and 10 rotations in that way. And then stop, give it a really good shake, and then repeat on the other arm. So that's just how you do a basic rehab using a stick for a shoulder. And it's going to really burn, and it's a fantastic thing to do. I remember when I did it in one of my training classes um, when I was learning to do this, that they managed to do 20 each side and they were just shouting at us until we, we were on the verge of crying because it was so painful and so burning in your shoulder doing it. But it feels absolutely lovely as soon as you've done it. So persevere. If you have to start with three or four, start with three or four, but work up to 10 and have a good go with it. It's a fantastic tool. Okay? But the broomstick will do it if you can't afford a stick. If you can afford a stick, do it. It's never going to be a bad idea. Okay, so the second exercise I'm going to show you with a stick is called a kayaker. Okay, now I am a kayaker, so I love this one. But what you're going to do is you're going to hold it in one hand, nice and vertically. The other hand will go on the top. Okay, I'll bring it down so you can see. And I'm just going to allow my fingers to pivot. Whatever hand is on the top, it's literally like a pivot. So you can see I'm doing it here. I'm just going to, wherever it goes, the stick can pivot that top hand. There's no real pressure. The hand that's on the bottom is always passive. It's, it's the passenger. The hand on the top is active. And all I'm going to do is going to loosen, loosen my knees again. And I'm just going to push straight down with my top hand and my arms are going to come backwards like this. Straight behind me. Now I'm not allowing this to happen until it absolutely has to. The idea is I'm going to go straight back, 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 back. Let the hand pivot and I press on the top. But all the while I'm trying to keep my chest, ribcage facing straight ahead. It's really easy to do that and make it look like you've done it. But actually all you've done is cheated. So what we're going to do is I'll show you the same side again. Chest straight ahead. Shoulder girdle will rotate, allow your arms to turn, and back down. Translate it across your body so it's vertical, exactly the same on the other side. You can see I'm not quite so loose on this shoulder, but that's how my body is a little bit looser here. And all I do is I tend to do 10 of these on each side. Have a go with that, see how you get on. Okay, so the last little one I want to show you is the, what they call a dislocate or a half dislocate. Then well, we're not actually going to dislocate your shoulders, it's just what the name of it is. What we're going to do is hold the stick up and I'm going to take my hands right to the very, very, very ends of it. And I'm going to stretch this stick, so I'm going to try and be pulling it apart. Now this is where having a stick is easier than a broom handle because they've got uh, these flared ends, so you've got something to pull against. Nice loose shoulders, arms straight all the time. It's going to go over my head and it's going to go backwards over my shoulders like this. And now, I'm back again. Now, I cheated a little bit then, I don't know if you saw, I did a little flip. I'm not meant to be doing that, I'm just saying here. Like that. Okay, so it's nice and slow and sustained. Over and back, over and back. Now, for a lot of people, that is not going to be possible. So, what you can do is do a halfway house, it's called a half this okay. What you do is take your arm up to one side and you go backwards with the hand. Now, I like doing this, so I kind of rotate around. I find that really, really beautiful in terms of shoulder mobility. I'm getting quite a few clunks and clicks out of here, but that's not the end of the world. And you can go back the other way. I'm just doing this a few times. It's really good for getting shoulder mobility. So you've got your first one, which is straight up and back. And you've got your, your halfway house, which is go to one side and go over your head. And go around. Have a go with those. They're really good. Obviously, with anything like this, you can damage yourself. So just be careful. Be sensible. If you really don't think your body's going to take it, please don't try and force it. Okay, so this next exercise I'm going to show you is going to be using a six foot stick. Now you don't have to have a six foot stick, you can do it using a door frame, just put your hands on the top of the door frame and just drop down. It's a really nice way to just stretch all the way through this chest muscle, so that whole lateral line and just gets you really nicely going through. So I'll grab a six foot stick. There are a couple of bits you can do with it where having the stick is useful. 
all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to the top here, I'm going to let my knees drop, and I'm just going to hang. Okay, now I can feel a really beautiful stretch all the way through my ribcage doing this. And all I'm doing is stretch, uh, it's hanging on the stick. Just lightly gripping. If you struggle with that, put your fingers on the top. Now what I can do is I can grip here. This is where having a stick is. You sort of can then twist with that hand. You can see it twists my top hand round and it gives me a different stretch. I can twist the other way and it gives me a different stretch. Now I think stick mobility do this in a kit. So you can do a, a four foot and a six foot stick for a slight discount. Really worth doing it um, because I absolutely love these things and they're really useful for many, many things. And that's just going to get all the way through that lateral line there, all the way through the armpit and stretch. I'll just show you again on the other side so you've got a double side to view. The stick is here, just let my weight go. I'm just going to hang on the stick, grab hold of the middle of the stick where the label is, twist it one way, and you can see it twists my hand around the front, and twist it the other way. I think it's different parts of your shoulders. Now, like I said, you can do it hanging on the door frame, but obviously with the door frame, you can't do the little twisty bits. So hopefully you'll find a way to around that. Six foot broom handle may do it, but honestly, go for the stick. Okay, so this last little routine, I'm gonna show you some isometric contractions for your shoulder. Hopefully that can really get some stability and strength in that shoulder without you having to move it into a vulnerable position. This is particularly useful if you've got a lot of stiffness and you can't even get into position and those sticks would have been too much. It's a really good way to get you started. I'm going to try and show you as many little positions as I can. I'm afraid I'm going to be in a door which is quite light, so I'm going to be a, a little bit dark in there, but there's nothing much I can do about that. That's just the way my shop face is. So I'm just going to go back into the door frame. We've all got one of these at home. We don't need any special equipment at all. I'm going to stand right in the middle of the door frame, so I'm stood on the threshold. My hand is going to go on the back of the door frame, and I'm going to put my arm or my hand rather, forward, so I'm trying to do this position. So I'm trying to do that. All I'm going to do is pull with 20% of my maximum pressure. I'm going to hold it for 10. So pull. I'm not allowing myself to twist while I'm doing this. So absolutely still. So 20%. Let's pretend that's 10 seconds. I'm going to slowly relax back. And I'm going to repeat probably up to five times. What I can do is I can come to the front edge of the door frame and I'm going to do the opposite. So I'm going to push my hand backwards through the door. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to push backwards 20% of 10 seconds. And so relax. Repeat it several times. I can then stand on the threshold again. I can put the backs of my hands against the door. I can push against the door frame both sides 20% for 10 seconds. I can slowly relax and do that. Now, if having my arm up here is too much for me, I can scale it down by one. I can turn to face the door and I can have my hand on the inside and I can be pulling my hand across my body. I'm effectively trying to do that. And I'm just going to hold my body still. Again, 20% held for 10 seconds. I can step this way and I can do outwards. So I'm effectively doing that with my hand. I can push backwards into the, into the wall there as well, into the door frame. So very, very useful. That monkey hang I was showing you a minute ago, you can do a monkey hang just by holding like this. Just letting your knees go. Okay, you obviously can't do the twist, but you have at least got an analogy to what we're trying to do with the sticks, but you can use it, do it using a door frame. So that's the isometric versions, which is where you've got no muscle lengthening or shortening, you've just got pure strength training going on, but the muscle in a held in a fixed length. Now, the one thing I do do with quite a lot of people for shoulders when they've got a lack of rotation, this is your frozen shoulder, early stages, is I do what I call a scarecrow. And you put your arms up like this. Now, you can see if I turn sideways, I'm not arching my back or I'm fish, fish forward, I'm nice and vertical. What I'm going to try and do is just drop my hands down like this. But you can see my elbows don't move position at all. Okay, and I'm going to come backwards. Okay, so you imagine I've got a pivot under here. If you're struggling with this, you can get a partner stand behind you with two hands like this, just supporting your elbows so you can't drop down. Because what you'll see a lot of people doing is doing this. Yeah, and that's not it. It's your elbows stay absolutely static. So if I shoot from the side, see how you can't see any change in the shaft of my upper arm. It's all happening within the shoulder. Okay, have a little go with those. They can really useful little exercises just to open up to a whole shoulder girdle and help get things moving. So hopefully that will help you. Good luck with the shoulders. Get going. Okay, so that's today's video over. Hopefully it's been useful for you and you can take away some of those bits and use them in your daily life. Please, please, please subscribe at the bottom of the page. The more subscribers I get, the more quickly I can get this out to the wider world and hopefully more people can get help. 
Also, please share it on Facebook, use the information, talk to your friends about it. I don't care what you do. Just get this information out there, get the Hope Nation healthy and help people to get better really quickly. So go on, have, uh, have fun with this. And hope you're